you fucking liberal piece of shit from New York. How the fuck could you turn on the American people like this? I voted for you to to get rid of Obamacare. I, dude, last week, he was talking about unfunding California because of the sanctuary cities. And what does he fucking do? He passes a bill funding the motherfucker. He was the last motherfucker on planet Earth that I thought would do this. Fuck! I broke my fucking sunglasses. Fuck. I gotta buy another one. <laughs> just like El Presto, where he gets pissed off and throws a controller and breaks it. I just threw my sunglasses across the fucking room and I broke them. Oh well, they're only like 12 bucks anyway. Fuck. The lens came out. I think it... Shit. I, I can't believe this shit. You know, this... This this is the kind of shit that makes me want to turn liberal. I never thought I would say something like that. I can't trust him anymore. I can't. He lo he lost my vote for 2020. I'm not voting for him in 2020. He did the same goddamn cocksucking thing that Paul Ryan did and John McCain did. I'm telling you, man, he's a part of the global elite system. I don't think you could trust any politician anymore. He better do something to change my fucking view. If he wants my vote in 2020, he better do something, and he better do it quick. Because as of right now, I'm done with him. This is not what I voted for. I can't get health insurance for my family. I cannot get health insurance for my family when it's $800 a motherfucking month. That's bullshit. I want it. I want Obamacare dead. Oh, I just came and grasped my mind around this shit. That you put your trust in somebody and they just flip on you. He's a fucking sellout, just like Casey Neistat, a fucking sellout to the Democrats. Guess what? You can't buy me. I'm not a sellout to anybody. You cannot buy Raging Rob. Absolutely not. I'm not for sale. I could be wrong. Maybe this is a setup to attack the global elite. And maybe this is part of his plan. I don't know. If it is, then I take back everything I said. And then I'll take these videos and put them on private forever. I don't know, man. I can't believe it. I, I'm in shock, I really am. I can't believe that he would do this. This is, this is not what I voted for. Looks like the states are just going to have to... Uh, do without them. Looks like the states are just going to have to, you know, the Tenth Amendment. When the country becomes over control and out of control, when the government becomes out of control, give the states, you know, give the power back to the states and let them do their own things. That's what it's going to come down to. And I could be wrong. Maybe this is a setup. But why didn't he veto this fucking thing? 
Oh, because of the military surplus or whatever. Bullshit. You're funding a terrorist organization that kills babies. You're funding a healthcare bill that was started by a Muslim jihadist terrorist. Who, who fucks a tranny. You're funding cities that support illegal immigration and criminals. What good is going to come out of this? Is he so obsessed with that wall that this is the kind of agreements he got to make with the fucking Democratic Nazi Liberal Party? I don't get it. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, God. And, you know, I knew back in my head. I don't know. I was so happy when he won. I don't know. A year and a half. He couldn't last a year and a half without me turning. It's fucking bullshit. He didn't even have the guts to come up on CNN and meet with the, the survivors of the Parkland shooting, you know? At least, at least, that senator, at least Senator Mark Rubio had the guts. I know he didn't show up on CNN, on the CNN town hall because the Cook News Network, they're fake news, I understand that. But I would have showed up. Joseph Martelli challenged me to show up in Niagara Falls. I'm not going to waste my time. But I got the guts to show up. He didn't have the decency to do that. You know? I don't know, man. He's, he's, he's changing. This is not the Donald Trump I voted for. It's not. And he better fix this shit and he better do it quickly. Because 2020's coming. And guess who wants to be president? That pedophile Joe Biden. He's another Bill Clinton. Oh, I, I, I can't even grasp my mind around this shit. I, I can't. It, oh my god. This is unbearable. I can't believe Donald Trump would do this to us. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I, I know what I'm going to do. When I get enough money, I'm saving up. I'm going to I'm going to move to the Philippines. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. He was our last hope for this country, and he blew it. Our country's fucked. So. It, I'm going to have to ban and ship. I mean, I, there's nothing else I can do. There's nothing else I can fucking do. I mean, this was our last hope for America. And he blew that. I'm going to have to ban and ship. I'm going to have to be a refugee. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to save up my money and move to the Philippines. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't even grasp my mind around this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>